Okay, here's a piece of uh, equipment that uh, that uh, has come very handy for me, and I really do suggest it. You'll see if if you take a class, you'll notice they always have these available in the in the class. This is just a good old kitchen scale. Now this is marked off. It's got kilograms on the outside, which isn't helpful to me, but it has pounds on the inside here. Um, and you can see, you know, it goes up to uh, looks like uh, 24 pounds here. Now I have to laugh about this scale because when I first got this scale, man, I, I want to throw big pots. So man, I want to throw 20 something pounds of clay. Uh, well, that that whipped me pretty good. So what I know, know that you're going to laugh about is now I, I throw. I end up throwing about either two or two to two to three pounds of clay. I rarely throw more than three pounds of clay now. Maybe because of my age, but I don't know. I just don't throw that that big of pots. There's also ways to throw larger pots without having to weigh out tons of clay. Um, you know, later on, I'll show you exactly what you know one pound, two pounds, and three pounds of clay look like. The thing that's here in front of you that you might not have noticed uh, is are these little guys here. These are these are test tiles, and you're going to want to be doing this a lot uh, when you try to find glazes that fit your that fit your clay. You make these these little tiles, and there's there's all kinds of ways to do this, and I'll show you how to do that later. Um, and then and then you can actually see what they look like on your clay. So uh, we look around a potter. Here's some guys waiting to be tested. Look around the potter. You'll find there's all kinds of these little test guys everywhere, and you're going to live in the middle of them, but that's that's what you're supposed to do. Some more equipment that's going to be really handy to you and essential uh, is going to be uh, containers of some sort. This is a, it's got some glaze in it, but this is a, this is a, a bowl I bought at Halloween time. I love Halloween for the buying bowls. I think I paid a dollar for this, uh, but you get these big bowls. They have a lot of potential. Uh, I've also drilled a little hole here so I can hang this bowl up on the wall to get out of the way after I clean it. Uh, my wife also came across some small bowls. She got uh, four of these little guys here uh, for a dollar at a dollar store. Uh, these are great. One one good thing about them, they're, they're great for, for holding a little bit of water to clean glazes up. They're also really good for uh, the glazes to stick in them very well. So if you pour glazes, they can go into these little bowls and they'll pour almost right back out. Uh, so so uh, start collecting a little bit of, a little bit of uh, some, some containers because you're going to need those. Next piece of equipment, uh, probably one of the best things I bought was this little guy right here. This is a uh, this is a banding wheel. This is by Shimpo, and I did pay a lot of money for this little guy. Uh, this this uh, this banding wheel cost me seventy bucks. It's been worth every penny though. You can hand build on this. You can also uh, it's great for for glazing, for putting uh, wax resist on, all kinds of things. What I really like about it is it's it's thick here at the edge, so it means I can give it a spin. And it'll it'll just keep on spinning. Uh, it's also I can easily center on it uh, because it's got these nice little lines on it, and so um, you know any fool can see this. So now you give it a little a little spin, and, and whatever you got on there will just spin will just spin away very nicely. <clears throat> One last thing that that's really very important. What you're going to do is going to be a source of water. Now this is this really bothered me when I first started working because in the in the uh, in the, the lab at, at, at North Lake College, where I first learned some pottery, um, we had uh, we had a sink. I think, oh my gosh, what are you going to do about a sink? So what I've done is I went out and bought myself a little bucket here. Uh, it's got water in it and a car wash sponge, um, and you can use that to actually clean stuff up, clean clay off your table, uh, to clean glazes up. Uh, it's it's it's. And what's interesting about this is the water on the top generally stays clean because the the things we put in are heavier than water and they sink to the bottom so um, so this is this is this is what you're gonna do for water you just empty this thing often and change it with clean water one word of caution about this though if you do have animals uh, you want to keep this out of out of their reach uh, I keep this bucket down on a, a stool down there on the bottom near the near my wheel and uh, so the dogs can get into it so I have to be really careful because some of the ingredients in the glazes could be toxic for them